In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a travel itinerary planner with Google Sheets that you can share with your friends to organize your upcoming holiday trip, summer vacation, or whatever travel plans that you and your group or your family have coming up. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So if you guys aren't familiar yet, I am on a new Google Sheets here on this page. Now, what I want to do is obviously I'm going to add the columns that we want, right? So for example, um, since we're making a travel itinerary, we want a date, we want a time, we also want what type of activity it is. So I'm just gonna type out those in the columns, date, time, activity, and maybe duration of that said activity in case you know things are cutting close in terms of time. You also want a uh, budget it out, right? So you wanna know price. And this is for the purpose of just splitting uh, the price, right? In case there's a couple people going. So you wanna do uh, how many people, amount of people that are going to this activity. And then I'm gonna just do a uh, cost per person here. So this will tell you how much it costs per person in case not everybody is going on your trip. You know, you have a couple people le left out or maybe they wanna do something else that you can also put in the itinerary. So we can also do that as well. So, and then on top of that, we can also add a location and on top of location, any links or tickets perhaps, maybe if you have like a link to a ticket, whatever it is. And last but not least, you wanna put in some type of notes, right? So whether, you know, uh, arrive 15 minutes early or whatever the notes would be, right? So here you go, I have these columns. Now I'm just going to space out the uh, columns a little bit here. So activity, I'm going to, you know, just kind of make it double the space. Duration could stay the same. Price could maybe go a little smaller. Number of people could be a little bit smaller here on the table. Cost per person, same thing. Location, uh, you know, maybe a little bit bigger and links, I could just leave it as is. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bold it just because it's a header and I'm just going to go ahead and center it as well. So bolding, centering, and I'm going to also increase a little bit of the font size. So maybe we can go about 13, 14 here, um, just so it's a little bit easier to read. Right. And of course, just, uh, you know, adjust as needed. So now that we have this, I'm going to go ahead and what I, what I can do here on Google Sheets is I can actually go ahead and hit view and freeze. So I could freeze the first row because the first row is gonna be, we want it to be stagnant, right? We want it to stay, we don't want it to go anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and hit row number one or one row. And what you can see here is that we scroll down, uh, it will actually freeze it for us, right? So now let's just go ahead and format the, you know, the columns correctly. So when I click this A column here, it selects the whole column. And what I can do here, what's nice is that I can actually go ahead and hit format and I could do number, and since it's a date, I could do date here. So it will perfectly format this to date, time, I can also do the same thing, format, number, and I could do time here as well. Um, activity, we could leave, as, as, leave it as is. Duration, we could leave it as is because we wanna you know, write down text in there. Price, so for price, I'm gonna go ahead and also format that to number, and we're gonna do something called currency. So obviously this is like dollars or whatever, whatever um, currency you guys are using, whether you're traveling to, you know, America, Europe, whatever, Asia, right? Um, per, per people, we also want to format this into a number. Cost per person, we want to format this into a currency again, just so because it is going to be currency, right? Location here, we're going to leave it as is. Links, tickets, and notes, we're going to leave it as is as well. So basically what we have here is we have our travel itinerary almost ready actually. But what we can do here is we can also change this row color. So you can make it whatever color you want. Um, I can make it this blue if I want to, or I can make it, you know, even um, a darker blue and change the text color to white, just so people can see it a little bit better maybe. So now that I have this, what you can do here is you can also change the, uh, the price and have this cost per person into a formula. So for example, here we can do equals to price, right? Divided by people, right? So you click the cell on the price divided by and you click on the cell of people. And what that should give us is it's going to say div equals zero because um, it's going to be, you know, you don't have it filled out yet. But as you as you fill it out, so for example, price is, you know, $100 and we have five people going. It'll be cost per person is $20. It makes it easy in case you want to split it. You want to Venmo, Zelle or send money to your friends. You can do it that way, right? So I'm just going to fill out a temporary entry here. And again, uh, I can also insert another row above this entry, for example. So I'm going to insert a row above. And what I can do here is that I can 
go ahead and select all the way till J, all the way till the last cell here, uh, last column. And I can actually merge it. And when I merge it, what happens is that I can go ahead and, you know, uh, expand this a little bit, center it, right? And then we can also do title the day. So for example, it's gonna be, you know, Sunday, right? Um, you can also vertically align this as well. There's this vertical align tool right here, which is really nice. So click this and hit center. Um, I'm going to increase the font just a little bit here, bold it, and you can also change the color of the background. So for example, we want it to be blue. So there you go. So we have Sunday, you know, for example, I don't know, 12, 29, 24, and at about, what is it? Uh, let's just say 3 PM, right? Activity check into hotel, right? I don't know, maybe like an hour and then price, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Sometimes there's no price. You can just remove this location. Now, what you can do for location here is actually you can go ahead and hit insert smart chips and hit place again, insert smart chips place, or you could right click and hit smart chips and hit place. And that will actually take you, uh, you can actually put down like Google maps locations here, right? Which is really nice. So you can, for example, do, um, I don't know, where, where are we staying at? We're staying at uh, Hilton, for example, right? We'll do it, we're going to Hilton Midtown, New York. Screw it, why not, right? So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and look at the preview of this. You can see what's around it. You can go ahead and click it and it will actually, that will uh, give you this uh, Hilton location. So again, super nice, super convenient. And if you wanna go ahead and open it in maps, you can go ahead and I'll take you to uh, the Google Maps, right? Um, but yeah, links and tickets again, obviously you want to paste whatever links you have and notes. You can go ahead and be like, check in, uh, starts at 2 PM, for example, right? Um, check out at 11 AM, for example, there you go. And again, if you want to, um, like have the text wrap, you can go ahead and hit, and hit this and hit this button that says wrap. This is the text wrapping option and hit wrap. So that way when you type here, um, it, it wraps down like this, so it, it doesn't, you know, close it. So if you want to, you can go ahead and select this and just change it to wrap. So all, all the columns now will wrap according to this notes tab, right? Um, the links doesn't have to wrap just because links are usually pretty long, but yeah, here you go. So now you already have your uh, itinerary figured out. So you can go ahead and keep going. So 12, 20, 20, 24, uh, for example, I don't know, 5 PM. What are we doing? We're skydiving. How long does skydiving take? Two hours. Um, you know, we're going to be skydiving right in the middle of New York, for example, that like that makes any sense. But, um, total tickets for skydiving was $375 and there was five of us, five of us going, right? Um, if, if it's like a little bit iffy for you for having the, the numbers here, the 5.00, you can also just remove it and change it back to, um, automatic, for example. So it just, it, it gets rid of the 0 .00 doesn't really matter. And again, if you want to split it evenly, you just have to drag this down like this. I would drag it all the way down, but again, it has that div, uh, you know, error. There is a way to do an if statement on how to make, not make that div error, but I'm going to save the headache for you guys and just, you know, I would just say drag it down, right? Location again, same thing, smart chips, place, skydiving, for example, I don't know, skydiving, New York, uh, Western New York skydiving. Perfect. This is where we're going to go for our location. Um, tickets, you're going to put the tickets down, notes, whatever, right? And then you, you fill it out for Sunday here and Monday comes along. You want to plan for Monday. All you have to do is just really select this row, hit copy, right? Copy this row and wherever you have empty space, you just want to go ahead and hit paste or control V, uh, and then you could change it to Monday. So then now you have a Monday figured out here. I'm going to control V again. You have Tuesday figured out. I'm going to hit control V again. Uh, oops, control V again. You have Wednesday figure it out all the way until you leave your hotel. And again, if you want to further categorize your activities, what you can do here is you could actually go right click on the C column where activities at right click it, insert one column to the right. And you can actually type in like type, for example, so you know what type of activity it is, right? So when I have this type here, as you can see, this is still merged together. This is still merged together. And I could go ahead and select column D. If you hit control on your keyboard, I don't know how to do it on mobile, but if you hit control on the keyboard and you click the top type, it'll select everything else except for the first row. And that's what we want. And you go ahead and right click on any of these empty columns or empty cells, hit drop down, 
And what they'll do is I should give you a drop down of uh, the type of activity it is, right? So for example, we have lodging, we have uh, entertainment, we have food, we have drinks, we have transportation in case you gotta take a three hour train somewhere, you don't know. And again, you could color code these, uh, you know, these activity types and you could even make it more clear to your family and friends on what type of uh, activity it is. So you can, you know, color code it, see what type of activity it is. And now what happens is you create this little data validation rule, which you could just leave it as is. And now you can see, check into hotel, this would fall under lodging, skydiving, this would fall under entertainment, you're going to eat somewhere, it would fall under food, right? And then you add the price, cost, location, and everything is just nice and sorted for you, your friends, and your family. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video on how you can make your own travel itinerary. I wish you guys safe travels this upcoming holiday season and or whatever break or travel plans you have. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in the next video.